Hi guys, so today we are filming back at Stuart Grindle's property and we've come early in the morning to do a little bit of aeration onto the lawn and what we can see now is Stuart's actually using his swish to uh, knock off the dew off of the top of the grass and to knock off some of the worm casts as well. Um, I've just missed it but basically this was covered in worm casts I've been out and got the machines, come back and he's he switched them all off got the dew off which is going to reduce the amount of dew on the lawn which obviously is holding a layer of air which will encourage fusarium into the lawn so it's something that Stuart does regularly in the mornings so uh, yeah how are you Stuart? Very well thank you Very yeah. well, lawn's looking yeah. well and obviously uh, we're just heading into yeah. winter now As I say it's very important to do all this uh, otherwise, I do get fusarium, I can't stop it, uh, but uh, this does reduce, it reduces the impact yeah. of the fusarium. Yeah. Uh, because as I say, as you've just said, it stops the air being trapped under the, the dew and the top of the grass. Okay. And fusarium loves a damp, warm conditions. This is why you normally get fusarium in September. Okay. Because you get your dew mornings and you get the warmer. Okay. As soon as it starts getting cold or frosty, you can forget about it. It, will not, uh, it will not germinate any, uh, any further. And, it, and, sorry. It does recover. It just looks unsightly while, while it's there. It can actually devastate the lawn. Uh, how it manifests itself is in a little green, a little brown circle and one minute they're there or one minute they're not there the next minute they're there so it's very important that you, uh, you swish okay. in the morning and, and while we're on the topic of the swish so it, it seems to have easily knocked off the worm casts now I've always thought if, if the worm casts are really sort of squidgy and soft you'd have trouble knocking them off it is, it is better to wait while they're dry, but obviously this weather, yeah. you don't get the opportunity. Uh, if you can knock it off when they're dry, yeah. they disperse easily. But as you can see, they've gone, they've gone off quite well this morning. Yeah, it's looking well anyway, isn't it? It's looking really well. Uh, I'm quite pleased, the colour's good. Yes. Uh, the sward is a little bit uh, thin at the moment because of uh, scarify severely. Oh, right, uh, yes. And... Uh, we're now waiting for you to uh, holotine, then we will top dress with fine sand, and then we'll overseed. Brilliant. Well, yeah. I will crack on with that now, Stuart. Good. And, I'll um, leave you to it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it, take, it takes them off quite good. Yeah. Uh, but as I say, ideal uh, condition. But we've had a lot of leather jackets this year. Hell of a lot of leather jackets. Yeah, a few which, weeks ago, wasn't it, when they were all flying about and... They, they manifest themselves over the last three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, when they come out, they leave the jacket stuck up in the, in That's the lawn. That's right, yes, yeah. Uh, and uh, so you know where they've been. I mean, normally, you can tell when you've got leather jackets if starlings come onto the lawn and start burying the head in the lawn. Yeah, yeah. Because they're after them then. But we've had none this year. What, what do you normally do with regards to grubs then in the lawn? Well, uh, we shall spray. We'll spray. Uh, yeah. Try and find some uh, some something something to uh, to uh, kill them. No problem. Uh, fortunately, touch wood. I've not had like the. Uh, I've not had uh, uh, chafers. Chafers at the moment. Yeah. No. So it's, it's been a funny year. Yeah, yeah. It's been a hard year this year. Yes. It's been a very hard year to maintain the lawn. Uh, and of course, mind the old spike band came on just at the right time, really, because as soon as the old spike band came on, we got the rain. <laughs> yeah, so, as usual. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> we we're, we're okay. But I have, I have irrigated a lot this year, mm -hmm. a lot. Not just the lawns, but all the, the garden. It's, and it's, it's, uh, if you don't, you know, it's then you're spending more money to put it right, aren't you? Well, of course you are. The yeah. Because once they're dead, they're dead. If your plant dies, <laughs> it dies. Right, are you ready for a cup of tea? Um, yeah, that'd be great, thank you. What do you want, tea or coffee? Uh, could I have a coffee with milk and one, please? Milk and one, coming up. 
I don't think you'll get up here, but... Uh, Sorry, beg your pardon. I don't think you'll get up here. Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers So that is aerated. Now we've left a piece here because there's a cable going underneath. So I'm just going to aerate that by hand. And I've still got the Wallensy aerator over there, which has just been in my van for a couple of weeks from my previous job. And there's another cable coming under here. So we're just careful with the machine around these sections. But he did say it's looking rough because it's been scarified. But this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. When you scarify regular, this is how good it looks for some people this is absolutely amazing for Stuart this is obviously looking rough because it's been scarified so if you do it regular it comes back a lot faster and looks a lot better as a result Tell you what, it blows so much easier and faster when it's cut really short. This would have taken me three times longer if the grass was longer. So always cut it really short when you're going to aerate. Just makes clear up so much easier. Brilliant, thank you, well, much appreciated. You're welcome. And we'll be out there. Doing rolling polies and everything else. Aren't they marvellous, these are? Do you know what? They're all...